Please keep watching this video until the end because we are introducing some brand new best ever food review show merch. Now back to the fortune teller. I have eaten every weird food you can imagine from bugs to balls. But now it's time for my real hardest challenge, cucumber. Here we go. The best ever food review show has just reached 1 million subscribers. But what is the future of the show and which will be the food that finally kills me? Find out today as a local fortune teller reveals the future of the best ever food review show. Thank you for coming here today. It's a big moment for me. My channel has hit 1 million subscribers. Everyone has gathered around today to see the fortune of this channel. And all will be predicted uh, by this bird. Is that how this works? Yeah. How did you get a fortune telling bird? How did you tell this bird? You gave it training. Training. It's taught by kids. When the bird is pretty small, he trains it since then. So now he's an expert. Has the bird ever been wrong? No, never. All right. What is the future for me and for my channel? What is the name? Sunny. Oh, okay. So now the bird, the bird is coming out. And he picks out a card, and he tries to leave with it. What is going on? You are very lucky. That's what he said. You are blunt on your face with people. You will do something big this year. Your expenses will be more, but uh, you won't be in debt. Just be brave, you will sail through it. Okay, here's more of a softer question. Um, how am I going to die? So I assume it's going to be from something I eat on this show. I go around the world, I eat a lot of different crazy out there foods, sometimes dangerous foods. Am I ever going to die because of one of the foods that I eat? He said, we'll die peacefully. Oh, that's not that interesting. When will I be famous enough to be on The Ellen Show? It's a famous talk show in the US. It'll take two years. Two years? That's pretty good. I can, yeah. He will progress slowly, slowly, not like at a fast pace. All right, chill out. He's saying chill out, <laughs> chill out. But two years, I'm gonna be on the Ellen Show. That's pretty good. So far, overall, the future seems bright. I'm gonna die peacefully, then I'm gonna be on the Ellen Show. All that sounds <laughs> awesome. But I do want to talk to you about something a bit more dark. When I look at your bird here, I notice it's eating Cucumber. Fans of my show know that I hate cucumber. I fear cucumber. I don't like cucumber anywhere near food that I'm eating. But all the time, I can tell my audience is a little bit disappointed that even though I've eaten buffalo shit juice soup and blood soup and snake and bile, what I've been afraid of most is cucumber. But when is the right time for me to try cucumber? What's going on? What the f what is going on? Did you tell him? I think he did. Oh my god, I don't even want to touch it. Are you telling me he has a cucumber right now? <laughs> this is the biggest cucumber I've ever seen. Oh, I don't even want to touch it. I, sh I should eat it now? Can he tell the future? Can he tell me if I'm going to be okay if I eat this? You'll be healthy, he said. He brought a cucumber? I've been doing this show for nearly three years. I have never eaten cucumber on camera. I have eaten every weird food you can imagine from bugs to balls. But now it's time for my real hardest challenge, cucumber. Here we go. Oh, it's so gross. Ew. It tastes like vegetable piss. Oh, this is so big. I'm not a fan of this at all. You have to finish this. He said, no, you should eat more. <laughs> what kind of cucumber is this? It's like yellow in the middle. It's so dense, like cucumbery flavor. <laughs> I hope you guys know I'm doing this for you. I do not enjoy this at all. <clears throat> Oh, it's so juicy, full of terrible cucumber flavor. I thought you liked juicy and crunchy stuff. No, not this one. Oh, man. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. That was so traumatic. When we called him, he, he didn't expect the call. Not a good sign from a fortune teller. But 
In this moment, he sensed or felt my fear of cucumber, enough to bring this here and make me confront my biggest fear yeah. <laughs> and do it for you guys on this one million subscriber challenge. I've been traumatized, but I also feel like I've been cleansed. This has been a cathartic moment for me. And for all this, I want to say, sir, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. In all sincerity, about three years ago, I had the idea to make a show that combined lols and yums. And here it is now with over 1 million subscribers and only like 40% of those I bought online. So at least 60% of you are real people who click the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. You know, it's always been my dream to be a runway model, but this is like a, a good second and, and I'll take it. I'm happy, D trust me, I'm very happy about it. To those of you who wanna support our mission on the best ever food review show of traveling the world, searching out and documenting the most unique food from around the world, we have some brand new Bestie merchandise. This is the best ever food review show. I am your bestie and you are all my besties. So check out the new shirt. It comes in all kinds of colors and styles with the new Besties logo. I hope you like it. We wanted to make something that wasn't just a walking billboard, but that actually had some design quality to it and looked, looked fresh, looked cool. The campaign is available for just a few more weeks. Check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. Good. Good, Ellen Show, two years. Let it be.